All right, another response video to Tommy. <laughs> Should be the last one again, I'll say, but it probably never will end. We'll just keep going back and forth. But he keeps changing the subject. Uh, the subject was his weak atheism, and so all of a sudden now it's something entirely different. Um, but first I'll go with the, um, you know, I said that the 3,000 people in 9-11 deserve to die. And that's not what I said. I said our nation deserved blowback. It deserved, it had every reason to expect that uh, those people would throw one of their pitchforks at us. Um, and the, the fact that it hit these 3,000 individuals, um, yeah, that's just the price, uh, you know, victims. Um, there's estimates that a million uh, Iraqi children <laughs> died in the 10 years of our sanctions. Um, so what, what's 3,000, you know, nice American capitalists uh, versus a million, uh, you know, Arab little brats, right? Or whatever the equation is. I don't know how you decide your values. Um, we killed all those people because Iraq invaded a little pissant created country that never earned their oil, never earned their money, never earned the land in the first place, the fuckers that lived there, the emirs and the, the gluttons, and none of them had the guts to stay and fight for their fucking country. None of them. And we gave it back to them. We killed a million people to give them back the oil. What we're doing in Saudi Arabia, why are we, uh, you know, selling a... Uh, you know, basically, it's not, it's not the arm, arms of war. We're sending the arms to control people to the government of Saudi Arabia. Um, what we do in Egypt, we basically bribe the government in Egypt. I mean, it's just, you know, fuck this bullshit, Tommy. I'm not going to defend my statement. It doesn't need to be defended. We, as a nation, have acted like an asshole in the world. And the fact that they finally, with their sticks and stones, hit us right between the fucking eyes is not a fucking um, event that someone with common sense uh, should be surprised by, you dumb fuck. <laughs> so anyway, enough of that. All right, yeah, I don't know why, where this conversation, what, what exactly does my, what I do in my personal life have to do um, with making statements on YouTube that, uh, you know, we have to make social changes. Um, and you, you even know that there are things I do, so I don't even know why I have to even make the argument. You know there's a bunch of haters out there that'll take any piece of personal information and distort it and pervert it. And you're saying to me, I have to give you more explanations? What, you want names and addresses of the people I do shit for? Is that what you want? Well, guess what? You're not going to get it. All right? And you already know some of it. All right? And I don't know how you can say the lawsuit isn't relevant is exactly what I'm talking about. The only way you can fix the system is to use the fucking system. All right? You have to use the democracy to fix the democracy. Yes, and so, uh, yeah, I, you know, I voted for Al Gore. I voted for Kerry. That's what I did. Okay, I did what was necessary. They weren't my favorite candidates. I would have voted for Nader, but I knew that voting for Nader would be throwing my vote in the toilet and basically giving uh, George Bush the victory. So I didn't do something stupid like, you know, in the first election, three million assholes did. Because of our broken system, those three million assholes who were just voting their conscience ruined it, okay? They're the ones that got George Bush elected, essentially. Um, so, so that's the fraud of our system. But you can't fix the system from outside, Tommy, especially as an individual. You can't do shit as an individual. All right? What has to happen is, a, is a, maybe 100,000 of us citizens have to actually organize into some sort of entity that has clout and, and extortion power. And then we can demand, okay? We can negotiate with the, the fucking system. All right? And we can make demands of the fucking system. But if assholes like you, you can't even get the fucking policies right. You say, I insist on just being commonsensical. Well, guess what? You don't land on the moon with common sense, and you're not going to fix the democratic engine with common sense alone. You've got to figure, you've got to fix it with explicit 
um, and, and um, intricate policy suggestions. So I'm sorry you can't keep up with the program. I don't think it would have been that hard for you to just say, yes, I support instant runoff voting. Yes, I support getting rid of the geographic bias in our voting districts. Yes, I support getting rid of the electoral college. That isn't fucking that complicated, Tommy, but saying something, I support more, po more parties, that isn't a solution, Tommy. You have to fucking actually describe the problem and then describe the explicit solution. Um, but anyway, it doesn't even it doesn't even fucking matter because the whole fucking original subject was why are you, um, you know, creating friendships? I mean, there's, a, there's only 6.5 billion people in the world, and you think you have some obligation to befriend, to associate with, to to find some uh, something appealing or interesting in the goddamn instruments of destruction. You know, I mean, how many, I mean, it, it, what, what's worse? I mean, could you imagine a Venom Fang X in control of social policy or a Jesus fucking freak? I mean, you know, they're just going to take the scripture and put it into the law. And, and you, you, and well, whatever. And, it, and even the idea that you, you, you cannot tell me that you believe these assholes are sincere anyway. I mean, they're, they're, they're obviously not sincere. They're game players. They're, they're egomaniacs. And you want you want to sit there and tell me why? I mean, I have to defend myself when I make the accusation that it seems rather um, frivolous and silly for an atheist to befriend a deceptive con artist. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? I so, said, so whatever. You want to change the subject? Well, obviously you want to change the subject. I, mean, I didn't avoid any question. I mean, I've watched your fucking video. You didn't sit there and make any explicit statement. What am I doing? You keep saying, what am I doing? I didn't, I didn't understand the idea that I was supposed to be fixing this thing by myself. And then you make some stupid comment about my local community. You know where I live. You know it is impossible for me to do anything in the system that I live in. That I, that the only way I can do anything in that system is through the court system. Is through antagonistic and and. Um, instruments that might actually get me arrested that's exactly the fucking problem is that's the only way I, I can't there's no way to do it cooperatively in this environment and that's the way our democracy is and that's what the broken part of it is is that these little control centers can tell you you have to be them you have to myopically fit into their fucking mold and that's what's broken here is because we're fucking ideological and intellectual and philosophical minorities are not respected by our motherfucking constitution in this context with these assholes in control. All right. Because the only thing they respect is this this thing called a majority in a geographic district. And that's all they respect. That's all this democracy is working on. It is not working on any collective understanding or knowledge base. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many millions of you exist. You are nothing by this democracy can't see you unless you are segregated in one fucking place where those million people can matter. And that's the bullshit of this system. Um, but again, this, the, the argument isn't about the system, my proposals, what efforts I've made in my life, what expenditures I've made, what compromises I've made in my life to fight this motherfucking system because there are plenty. But that's not the fucking goddamn subject. All right, the goddamn subject was you getting all bent out of shape because somebody sends you a fucking PM being critical of you. I mean, it's kind of amazing. I mean, I get those every fucking day, and I just say, fuck you. It's that simple. And that's a whole other subject. I mean, you, you think I have to have your definition of graffiti. I have to have your definition of... of uh, you, you say I block people for disagreeing with me. No, I block people for being rude assholes. I mean, I don't do it on their boards. If I'm not comment, if I'm not posting trash on their videos, if I'm not one starring their videos, then why should I accept it from them? Why should I accept the behavior from them? I have no reason to do that. It's bullshit. And all they are is they're just they're just fucking they just destroy the continuity, you know, your common sense types, you know, who can't fucking think. All right? They just destroy the continuity of any kind of um, context that the comments might add to a video because all it becomes is a goddamn discussion about trash and garbage all right or some other fucking subject I mean, they can't stay on subject they can't say anything relevant they can't say it in a decent way fuck it fuck the comments fuck them they're of no fucking use to the discussion so that's why I blocked them all right and so whatever I mean but it's well again the subject isn't me the subject is you and your contention that uh, atheism doesn't mean anything doesn't mean a mother 
fucking thing, really. I don't believe in God. There, I'm an atheist. I mean, that's bullshit. What, what that's like, uh, that, that is absolutely nothing to uh, uh, see any value in associating with somebody merely because they can utter those words. Well, that's not good enough. So if you can't be a little bit more than that, if we can't, if atheists can't expect a little bit more, like you should be, um, have some some real appreciation for logic instead of maligning the fucking word, um, you know that those things would be important to somebody who call themselves atheists. That there'd be a certain discipline and a certain approach to figuring out reality and, and how to describe it and define it. But anyway, you know, fuck the conversation, Tommy. We've got the idea. I really don't like who you've become, all right? You want to be an entertainer on YouTube? Be a fucking entertainer on YouTube. Why? I don't give a fuck, all right? Go be friends with Jesus Freak and Venom Fang X, but I'm just going to associate you with what you associate with, okay? So then I'm going to call you part of the problem, not part of the solution. You're just a stupid, common-sense fucktard. All right, because you're not going to be do you're not going to be fixing the problem. You're, you're aiding, comforting the goddamn very thing that's creating the problem.